established in 1835 after a group of settlers received a land grant from the Mexican government. The town was laid out in the traditional Spanish colonial style with a central plaza surrounded by buildings which could serve as fortifications in case of attack. Las Vegas soon prospered as a stop on the Santa Fe Trail. During the Mexican-American War of 1846, Stephen W. Kearney delivered an address at the Plaza of Las Vegas claiming New Mexico for the United States. A railroad was constructed to the town in 1880. The tracks were laid east of the Guayenas River, a mile from the plaza. When the Iron Horse finally arrived on July 4, 1879, hundreds of citizens gathered around, including merchants, professionals, desperados, and dance hall girls. To maintain control of the development rights, it established a station and relationship development one mile east of the plaza, creating a separate rival new town, as occurred elsewhere in the Old West. During the railroad era, Las Vegas boomed, quickly becoming one of the largest cities in the American Southwest. Turn of the century, Las Vegas featured all the modern amenities, including an electric streetcar, the Duncan Opera House at the northeast corner of 6th Street and Douglas Avenue, the Carnegie Library, the Hotel Castaneda, a major Harvey house, and the New Mexico Normal School, now New Mexico Highlands University. Since the decline and restructuring of the railroad industry began in the 1950s, the city's population has remained relatively constant. La Castaneda is one of the earliest Harvey houses to be built in the Mission Revival style. The Rawlings Building, which is across the street from the hotel, and their Las Vegas train station was used during the period to house the Harvey Girls who staffed the La Castaneda. The Harvey Girls and their history is a unique part of the Fred Harvey tradition. Harvey Girls were held to extremely high standards and did much for the reputation of the Harvey houses. It has stood forlornly and mostly empty alongside the railroad tracks in Las Vegas for decades. The hotel is ready for a makeover, and Alan Affelt will try to repeat in Las Vegas what he did in the 1990s when he and his wife helped save the then decrepit La Posada Hotel in Winslow, Arizona. That was another of the Harvey houses that dotted New Mexico, Arizona, and California to serve train travelers. Affelt said the hotel's rooms, some now with collapsing roofs, will be enlarged, and since most did not have individual bathrooms, those will be added. The old Castaneda had 40-some rooms, while the new one will have about 25. Furniture is not a challenge. Affelt said he bought all of the original hand-painted furniture from La Fonda, which sold off room furnishings during a remodel last year. We will also use it as a space for all kinds of exhibits and shows and lectures, he says. So we want to make it a vibrant community space. We want to do a lot of events, like in the courtyard, in the dining room. There's no space like this in Las Vegas. The restoration of the ATNSF steam locomotive 2926 is almost complete and the plan is to provide excursions from Albuquerque to Las Vegas, New Mexico where passengers can stay at the Costanada Hotel.